Hey, Paul here for Retro Gaming Arts, and this month I picked up a lot of stuff, and I mean a lot of heavy hitters, and then also a lot of awesome new equipment for the repair shop. So I'm gonna show you some gameplay of whatever games that I've played so far, so let's just go check everything out. A lot of Sega Saturn. Now, I said in my last pickups video that I never started collecting for the Sega Saturn because I was foolish and traded my Saturn with like 40 games for a Sega Genesis with no games. So I only recently started getting back into the Saturn and uh, Panzer Dragoon was a, a game that I had for the Saturn that everybody knows and is just absolutely awesome, except for the fact that you have to really beat it in one sitting. So other than that, it's a great game. And the two platformers, we got Gex and Earthworm Jim 2. Now, Earthworm Jim 2 for the Saturn, this is the best version by far in my opinion. And then um, same goes for Tomb Raider. Even though, so Tomb Raider was the originally for the Saturn, and that's what it was going to be for, but then they were like, make it for PlayStation, and then it stayed on PlayStation. Uh, but I wanted to play it for the Saturn. Uh, Blackfire and Cyber Speedway were just kind of some miscellaneous. I wasn't really interested in picking those up, but it just sort of happened kind of thing. So, oh well. And then um, D. This is a game that has eluded me for my entire life, and I don't know why, and... I've never played it, so I really want to play it, and since I play most of my games on the PlayStation, I want to play some games that are on both systems, I want to play it on the Saturn, because Saturn's awesome, I really like the Saturn, and uh, so yeah, I'll finally get to see what this is about, I'm pretty sure it's like some sort of cinematic style game. Another Saturn game is uh, Dark Savior, um, and then Land Stalker I also got for the Genesis, and the reason why I got those two is because I've had Time Stalkers for quite some time, and these the, all three games are all made by Climax Entertainment, so it's very similar. You can even see the similarities, well obviously Land Stalker, Time Stalker, but in this guy's, you can even see... So Landstalker is like a, um, it's kind of like an isometric action RPG-ish, and then Dark Savior is um, is an isometric platformer puzzle action RPG. It's a it's awesome game, awesome artwork, but absolutely terrible controls. Uh, in my opinion, not necessarily the controls are bad, but it's the directional pad. It's like no matter what you're doing, you're just always walking into a wall and it's very difficult. Other than that, it's a great game, super awesome, except for that. So be wary if you're gonna go pick this one up because as awesome as it is, it's very frustrating. So I'm a really big fan of Atlas games because most of them are very different in their and which is what I like in games and I don't like game I don't like cookie cutter games that are all the same. I like extreme variety. And these two games they're kind of throwback to older style games like uh, the 3D dot hack heroes or 3D dot game heroes. It's um it's like an action it's an action RPG with like swords and uh, you run around and you slash swords and you beat up enemies. It's kind of like a uh, very uh, reminiscent of Super Nintendo style games, but on a modern day platform, and I like stuff like that. And Dragon's Crown is the same thing, where it's an older style game, it's like a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up, but since it's, you know, more modern, it's much, much more complex. There's a very intricate, like, uh, weapon system, and there's a whole bunch of moves, and it's very unique art style, and completely different. It's these games are very unique, and that's what I enjoy, and that's what I like. And out of all the games I've picked up, I'm probably going to... Dragon's Crown so far is the most fun, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Alright, so, firstly, I picked up a couple of the ar arcade sticks for certain consoles because I started having, you know, people come over once a week to play fighting games, so I wanted to make sure that I had two PlayStation 4 controllers, two Sega Saturn controllers. I have two of every other controller. Those are the only ones that I only had one of. So now I have two. And then um, some arcade sticks. So when the Dreamcast was commercially relevant, we all played Sonic Adventure because that was like the game we wanted the most for the for the Dreamcast. So when, when I got a Dreamcast way back in the day, this was the game I played the absolute most on. And it was just absolutely amazing and I haven't played it since. I do have Sonic Adventure 2, but it's just not the same and it's not as good as Sonic Adventure, the original. So I wanted to replay this because I haven't played it in 12 years or however long, very long time. 
So I had to grab that. I'm going for a uh, complete Square Soft and Square Enix PS1 and PS2 collection, and I'm down to like my last like two or three games that I need to complete all every Square Soft, Square Enix game for PS1 and PS2. And one of the last ones was the uh, the first Full Metal Alchemist. I grabbed the second one, so now that I have both of them, it's just less. Ga I haven't played either of these. Don't know anything about them. Never seen any gameplay. Don't know anything about them except they're. Uh, they have Square Enix on them, which is part of the criteria for me to have all of them. So happy for that. So I grabbed uh, Dot Hack 2 and 4, which were the two that I was missing because I had 1 and 3. So now I have all of them, which um, I like to do that. I have to have like all the games in some sort of uh, whatever it is. Like if it's Silent Hill, I need to have all the Silent Hills. So that way, if I enjoy it, I want to play them all. So that was very nice to finally complete. And that's what I'm trying to do right now is complete a lot of the missing holes in my collection. So I have the collector edition Street Fighter V, but I never opened it. So I had to grab a used copy of Street Fighter V so we can play Street Fighter V for fight nights. And uh, so that's self-explanatory of why that. This I want to talk about a little bit because this is a limited run game. Uh, Mitsuri Kuno Hikane, I don't even know how to say it. And uh, I'm actually very not a fan of limited run in any way, shape, form. I don't like them at all. Um, it's conceptually, I think they're doing a great thing of giving people that can only develop games for, you know, download only, so that those games can get a physical release. I think they're doing a, like they're doing more for the developers than they are for us to play them because we could just play these games download which I don't do anyway so I would never get to play these games because I would only play them but I don't know I'm just not that much of a fan of limited run what do you think of limited run and what do you think of the games they choose and everything I don't know why they don't make I am Setsuna like why don't you make a game like that ah I don't Anyway, uh, I can go on a whole limited run rant, but I picked this up, haven't opened it, haven't played it, probably just gonna, I'm not, a, I don't like selling games, but I may sell this game for exactly what I paid for down the line, just so somebody can actually get a chance to play it without having to pay $150. All right, starting with PS1 games, I got King of Fighters 99 because I've been a huge fan of Street Fighter forever, and I've always preferred well, not really, but I've always really liked the SNK games. It's hard to tell which one I prefer. So I had to grab King of Fighters um, for PlayStation. Now, I almost have every single uh, Squaresoft uh, PS1 game. That's why I grabbed Tobal Number 1 and Chocobo Racing. They were two uh, that I was missing, and now I'm just missing uh, Einhander. And uh, I have a lot of Atlas games for PS2 and PS3, but I don't have any Atlas PS1 games. So this is my first Atlas PS1 game. I have almost every one for PS2. Um, so yeah, and since I like a lot of Atlas games and lesser known RPGs, that's why I finally had to grab Tales of Destiny 1 and 2, or Tales of Eternia. And uh, this, was, this was huge. These were a lot of games that I really wanted that I was missing. And uh, I'm almost completed with the Squaresoft collection. And then uh, King of Fighters for Fight Night. Some light gun games. Area 51, Time Crisis. I played Area 51 in the arcade so much that I even went out and I grabbed this um, when I was younger, when it came out, and played it and just played it nonstop all the time. It was so much fun. And um, so I had to grab a light gun for it. This is the light blaster by performance it has some leds here it has uh when you throw the grenade you press this button and it'll throw the grenade and there's a couple different settings one of them pretty much turns it into a machine gun one of them turns it so it auto reloads and i don't know it's kind of cool uh it's semi pretty accurate this front trigger has i haven't found anything that it does i took this apart and i cleaned the lens inside there so it's a little bit more accurate but it's not entirely perfect. It's about like 90% uh, working. So I would, I, the idea is I want to, I want to stream light gun games because who does that? That's my idea. So, in order to do that, you need the final piece of what I've picked up this month, which is oh yeah, the Sony Trintron. 
I've I haven't had a CRT in a very 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 long time. I've been rocking the flat screens, and now I have uh, Sony Trintron from 2003. It's got S video, composite, component, uh, multiple. Uh, it's just very happy to have this, so I can now play light gun games. And I've played a lot on this CRT already, and I've figured out that some of these older consoles actually do look better on the LCD if you have them like RGB modded or if they're modded consoles they end up looking better on the flat screen but certain things like the Nintendo look better on the CRT and obviously like gun games so very happy to have it and uh, it was one of the major pickups for this month. So here I'm putting on this little jet grind radio sticker that I have on uh, my new shelf. I don't even know what they are. They're like mechanical drawers and like a shelving unit. And I got two of them because Radio Shack just went bankrupt and there's no more Radio Shack. So they were selling all the fixtures in their store. So I grabbed two of these from them and just had to, you know, make it retro gaming somehow or another. And so there are these big drawers and you, they have all these little organized spots in them where you could just put all your stuff and it's just awesome. They were for like uh, all the little components that Radio Shack would sell so that you can interchange the slots and it's just gonna organize the shop so much and so critical because all of our stuff, we had so much stuff, so many broken parts, so many like spare parts, capacitors, just everything and uh, little SD memory card units, uh, spare screens, just everything. I haven't finished putting everything in here. I've barely even started, just hard drives on hard drives and uh, resistors and transistors and PCB boards and all the different parts to fix controllers, N64, PS3, Xbox, all of it. And just, this is gonna make my life so much easier, like Game Gear battery covers. So whenever a Game Gear comes in with no battery covers, we can fix it and replace it and make it minty and fresh. All these PSP parts and just a whole bunch of broken handhelds for parts. It's just, oh my God, the most important thing ever jet grind radio those like machine drawers are just i'm so happy for those they just they're gonna make my life so much easier by having all my parts in a, in, in a drawer and like in the same location labeled and organized and it's just gonna be i'm very happy for that and also the sony trintron so i can play light gun games again and uh it's just play some older nintendo games <sighs> I'm just very, very happy about all this. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching all our other videos, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.